what about these two pawpaw trees? Aren't they fantastic? The one behind me, the red one here, we've so far, in 17 months, since it was a seedling, 17 months, we've taken 42 kilos of fruit off this particular tree. And the fruit's getting better all the time. This is a golden variety of pawpaw, and uh, this one has yet to yield a whole lot of fruit to us, but as you can see, it's beautifully loaded. Some people told us we couldn't grow pawpaw trees, but here at Practical Aquaponics, we're experimenting all the time, trying different fruit trees. And I really believe that we can grow anything at all in aquaponics. So far, we've not found anything that we can't grow. And I'm just wondering if there's any limit to it. I don't think there is. It's just a matter of trying them all and seeing how they go. I find it so exciting that I'm able to grow pawpaw or papaya, as you might know it, in my aquaponics system. I discovered this quite by accident, actually, when we were only about a year into doing aquaponics. And uh, I thought I'd give it a try to see if I could grow fruit trees. Now, anyone that knows anything about papaya trees will tell you that they're a tree that does not like having wet feet. You've probably heard that about all sorts of plants. People say they don't like wet feet. Well, a more correct thing to say would be that particular type of plant does not like lack of oxygen around its roots. And this is the beauty of aquaponics. The secret of aquaponics is that we use flood and drain method in our gravel grow beds and we can plant a papaya tree and it will grow like crazy. I've got an old mate who is a retired uh, pawpaw grower, papaya grower from North Queensland. And he would come by my place and he'd look at my papaya tree and he'd say, it's a freak, it's a freak. You know, because in his mind, you know, his papaya farm had to be grown on a slope, good drained soil and that sort of thing. So look at the stuff we're growing in our aquaponic system, our papaya trees. Oh wow, look at that. Well, this is a beauty. 2.86 kilos. What a beauty. Absolutely amazing. I'm astonished myself every time. 2.2 kilos in size. A beautiful red fleshed papaya that's so sweet, you just can't believe it. And because it's grown in an aquaponic system, it's nutritionally very, very dense. Beautiful. So wonderful food. Just give it a go. Put some papaya trees in your system and see how you go. Now they go well inside the greenhouse. I have a problem actually with mine because the greenhouse roof is not high enough. At about 18 months, I've got to chop the top off and they're going that well and try to get them branch out. But just the most wonderful thing to grow in an aquaponic system. Mm -hmm.